What is up, YouTube? It's the MQ Truth. I got a video for you on a hot topic that I do see from time to time. Um, talking, and we're going to talk about if you happen to have damage to the face of your uh, buffer in your AR. I'm going to explain pretty in depth uh, where it's probably coming from. Now, I'm sure I, you've probably seen a lot of groups where the second you post it, the first thing somebody's going to say is you get a burr on the back of your bolt carrier. Now, it may be anecdotal, but from what I see, it's I mean that obviously that does happen and but more often than not that's not the actual cause and I'm going to explain pretty much all the causes that can cause damage to the face of your buffer and what's going on with that um this is actually the second video I've done on the topic YouTube took away the, or took down the first one never really gave me an explanation why but you know what I'm just going to make another one so jokes on them <laughs> all right let's dive right into it so um, the most common cause that I see is going to be from this pilot hole from this uh, buffer detent pin is going to be drilled in the long in the wrong location. And what will happen is, is it's drilled just a smidge too far to the rear. Now, whenever you're locking down your um, the upper onto the lower, this right here is actually going to push that buffer face off of your buffer detent, and your buffer detent is actually going to sit in this channel here underneath. Okay. Um, the only time that this is really supposed to make con that it's supposed to make contact with the face of your buffer is when you have it uh, basically have it cracked open. Um, that's what it's for. It's a buffer detent. It's supposed to retain and detain or excuse me retain this uh, buffer in here until you decide to remove it. So if you it, it does give some noticeable marks uh, when it is that issue, and this is exactly what it looks like right here. Working on my editing skills. <laughs> If I don't manage to get it, then that means that I'm pointing at nothing. But there's going to be a well-defined ring uh, from where it's slamming into uh, that buffer as your gun is cycling and as the, the buffer is moving because it does rotate. It is going to put a nice little ring uh, right around the edge. You're not probably not going to see a lot of uh, damage to the center of it. and It'll just be confined almost exclusively to the edge of the buffer. Um, now, not only is it possible to have that occur from your detent being drilled in the wrong location, but it's also possible that your carrier may be short. Now these both result in the exact same thing where the buffer is slamming into the retaining pin, only it may, it very well could be that your carrier is short, but you can rule that out. What I have here is a pair of my handy dandy calipers. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on in zero. Now, the specifications for it, your carrier length should be no shorter than 6.66 uh, inches in length. Um, otherwise, it's too short, and that's what it'll, that could be the issue of what's causing it if it's measuring out, or that is the issue of what's causing it if it's measuring shorter than that. Now, this one is a uh, ALG. Let me go ahead and measure that. The ideal length is going to be 6.67 inches, give or take uh, five thousandths of an inch. Let me see. Let me link this up. See what this one here measures out at. Uh, we're almost there. This one is 6.675, but as I move it, yeah, that's about right. But a little bit longer is fine. Um, 6.67 though is what you're looking for. That's the ideal length in it. Again, uh, if it's measuring 6.66 or lower, then that means that it's a problem with your carrier. Now, uh, the other issue, the one that you see a lot, is going to be um, a burr on the back of your carrier tail. Now, what does that look like? This is going to be the damage that's uh, caused by a burr. Um, more often than not, what you're going to see is you're going to see gouge marks in the um, center of your buffer face coming down on top of uh, the damage that's uh, that's going around in a circle. And not only that, but you're also going to see, and I pointed an arrow, you're going to see damage typically is going to be above where your, uh, your detent is making contact with the buffer face. You're going to see damage up here as well. And more often than not, what that's going to come from is this little area right here. Whenever this is being uh, milled on the CNC, you may have some imperfections where this there will be a little bit of overlap and almost like a little uh, a little bite 
right there. And as you're locking the upper down to the lower, it will generally cause a scrape as it's coming down onto the face of the buffer. And then it'll also wear um, a circle, not only where your buffer where your buffer is, but on top of that as well. It'll, it can cause quite a bit of damage from doing that. Um, but there's gonna be some significant signs. You're gonna see, uh, it's not gonna be that well-defined ring that you'll see from a detent. It'll, it'll be a lot of marring. It'll almost look like sandpaper's been, been at it. Um, Anyways, uh, those are the most uh, common causes of it. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, by all means, leave a message in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But those are really the only possibilities of how you can have damage to your buffer. Um, the only, I mean, your buffer is not the most important thing, but uh, because really that's all it does is retain it whenever it's in there. So, I mean, if you don't feel like replacing the uh, buffer pins which can be a pain in the butt especially if you have a uh, stake castle nut um, there is the availability of what is called a um, an offset detent offset detent pin i haven't really seen any in stock lately i've never actually needed one um, but i just did a blind search and i haven't they do exist but they're pretty hard to find that can correct the issue Ideally, what you want to do is, is you just want to send your, if it's a problem with your lower, you just want to send it back to the manufacturer and just have them replace it with one that is in spec. But if that's not a possibility, say for example, you have like an SBR, then um, uh, you may want to look at that as an option. But um, anyways, I hope that video is, or I hope this video is informative and helps you out uh, if you're having that issue. Um, if you have any other issues, I'd be more than happy to respond to you. So thanks for watching.